this is a lot. <laughs> I'm Chris from Auto Academics, and today we're going to take a look at a 2020 Toyota Camry TRD. <laughs> If you're one of those people who exclaimed that the Camry was way too vanilla for your liking, well, Toyota heard you. And even though we thought as though this eighth generation had mixed things up, apparently Toyota wasn't done. Tapping into Toyota Racing Development, or TRD, and adding a little chunky monkey flavor to the mix. Looking more NASCAR than ever is this 2020 supersonic red Toyota Camry TRD. Standard features include black housing by LED combination headlights, LED daytime running lights, and LED combination taillights, gloss black front grille with sport mesh insert, 19-inch TRD matte black alloy wheels wrapped in 235 40 series Bridgestone Potenza summer tires, red TRD badge, aero kit with red pinstriping, red painted brake calipers, and TRD cat back dual exhaust with polished stainless steel tips. Inside, you'll find a leather trim tilt and telescopic three spoke steering wheel with red stitching, sport fabric soft text trim seats with red seat belts, stitching, and fabric inserts, seven inch touchscreen, six speaker stereo with hands free Bluetooth for phone and music, USB media port, two USB charge ports, Sirius XM with three month trial, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. 4.2 inch TFT multi information display with TRD startup animation. Power driver's seat with lumbar support. TRD logo headrest, floor mats, and shift knob. Voice commands. Sorry, I missed that. Electronic climate control. And smart key system with push button start. Safety and convenience features include a backup camera, as well as Toyota Safety Sense P that consists of pre-collision system with pedestrian detection, dynamic radar cruise control, lane departure alert with steering assist, and automatic high beams. Optional equipment consists of the special paint color and two-tone midnight black metallic roof, rear spoiler, black window trim, and side view mirror caps. Total MSRP is a respectable $32,920. So if you're anything like me, you probably thought this TRD trim was comprised primarily of plastic bits and pieces, but apparently that isn't so. You already know about the catback exhaust and some attention was paid to the chassis as well with thicker underbody braces, TRD shock absorbers and stiffer coil springs that lower the ride height by 6 tenths of an inch. On paper, it seems as though Toyota is taking this Camry TRD thing seriously. Even the front brakes are larger with dual piston calipers as opposed to the single pistons on the XSE. Obviously, cargo capacity remains Camry-like with 15.1 cubic feet of space in the trunk. Unfortunately, the rear seats no longer fold down, so what you see is what you get. Keep looking though, and you'll find a jack and compact spare beneath the floor. Powering this TRD is the same 3.5 liter dual overhead cam six cylinder engine that's in all V6 Camrys, making 301 horsepower and 267 pound feet of torque. A direct shift eight speed electronically controlled automatic transmission with paddle shifters sends power to the front wheels. Eco, normal, and sport drive modes remain, and zero to 60 is the same as the XSE V6 we reviewed at 5.8 seconds. All the extra downforce must be working though, as EPA estimated fuel economy numbers are rated at 22 miles per gallon city, 31 miles per gallon highway, with a combined rating of 25 miles per gallon. One mile per gallon less on the highway and combined. Auto Academics only saw an average of 25.6 miles per gallon during testing on regular fuel. The Camry back seat is a spacious and comfortable place to be. 
but there are a few things missing on this TRD trim that are available on upper trims. For example, there are no AC vents and no center armrest either. That omission also means that your only cup holders are in the doors. With two years passing since its redesign, the Camry's interior has held up well, and the TRD department did a good job at making it look sportier. I like the red stitching, and while not aggressive, these seats are comfortable. The price of this Camry isn't reasonable for no reason, the, reasonable for no reason? The price of this Camry isn't affordable for no reason though, as there are quite a few features missing. No dual zone climate control, no heated or cooled seats, no wireless charging. But I'm not mad at that because you do get the sportier TRD goodies at a much more reasonable price. So let's see how those work. So, as I head up the street, you need to know that even with all of the new components on this car, the suspension doesn't feel any more sporty than the XSE. I'm not saying that nothing's been done, I'm just saying that I don't notice what has been done. The Camry was already way more sporty than it had ever been before. So yes, it handles curves in a nice yet comfortable manner. And with 301 horsepower, the V6 is strong for a family sedan. Which again, is the same as the XSE. With the exception of this. <laughs> you definitely get a placebo effect from the exhaust. Also, sport mode does make a difference with the power delivery. The transmission is still sluggish, but engine response is snappier, and I find myself using the paddle shifters a little bit more. Again, they won't allow you to bang out gears, but downshifting is surprisingly entertaining. No matter what it looks like or what the badging says, the Toyota Camry has never been a sports sedan. But the AC is cold, the seats are comfy, and the slight improvements from the TRD components are a move in the right direction. Plus, visibility is everything you'd expect from a Camry. Except for the ever so slight obstruction from the wing out back. So there you have it guys, the 2020 Toyota Camry TRD. It's still a true family car that now has more performance flair than any of us expected. And while I'd personally sacrifice a little less wing for a little more sport, I think it's priced right, which is something that we almost never say about performance trips. So let us know what you think in the comments section below. Does this Camry TRD represent the badge well? or are there things you'd rather tweak? As always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already and hit that bell icon so you don't miss what we have coming up next. I'm Chris from Auto Academics. Thanks for watching.